I think that some of the most gratifying moments personally and professionally is when all of those different facets of my musical personality and existence come together. When I have the opportunity to stand before a group and teach while at the same time I am sharing knowledge with them particularly about an arrangement or a composition that I'm working on or that I have worked on, then I think my, my passion uh, perhaps goes to a different level. It's really exciting for me to, to integrate all the things that I think I do musically into one particular experience because for me, one facet of my career, such as composing, really feeds the other part of my career as a conductor. And my work as a conductor feeds what I do as a clinician. So I really find that all of those experiences work together in many ways. I would have to say one of the most gratifying experiences that I, I have had was um, a number of years ago, I had an opportunity to travel with uh, Henry Leck, um, the founder and artistic director of the Indianapolis uh, Children's Choir to China, and uh, Henry had an opportunity to work with the uh, Beijing Children's Choir there, and he wanted to expose them to my music. And so he handed out a copy of one of my pieces called Shine On Me to about 70 children who were probably middle school age for the most part. And not only did the students on the first read sight read every note perfectly, but they sight read every note in English perfectly. And it just goes to show you that uh, music is music all around the world. And to have the opportunity to share the music beyond the borders of the United States was very gratifying to me. Once you begin to understand through your own work that music really is universal. I know that sounds cliche, but it really is. And no matter where you go, children in particular from different communities, from different cultures, whether they speak the same language when they all get in the same room or not, it really doesn't matter. Once they start making music together, no one seems to care about the cultural barriers that may, may make us different or that separate us. Uh, it's that musical language and that musical connection that helps us to understand that we really are all the same at the core. I have really wanted to champion the cause of diversity in choral repertoire in particular and to help singers and help teachers of singers and choristers to understand that there are so many different perspectives when it comes to choral singing and choral music making. And I think in the year 2016, uh, we have gotten so much better in terms of making music from all different cultures ac accessible, certainly through publications, and certainly J.W. Pepper has played a huge role in the distribution of music that uh, has been arranged or composed uh, by people from, from places far and near. It's so important uh, in these uh, days, I think, of globalization and of technological advancements that we help our singers to understand the world around them. And the world around them is not just limited to the Western classical canon. Choral music transcends uh, culture, and I think for our singers to be limited to singing in one particular style or one particular genre uh, is limiting their ability to fully understand the world around them. Unless there's a choir that is very mission driven to specialize in one particular type of music, and there are choirs that do that, there are choirs that are solely dedicated to Baroque music, for example, to early music in particular. But as an educator, I have a responsibility to expose my choristers to the gamut. Everything from chant to 21st century Broadway musical theater, folk, jazz, gospel, pop, rock, and the contemporary classical choral scene as well.
So that is my responsibility and I hope to champion uh, that cause uh, for as long as I, I remain an educator and a composer.